Hey YouTube, uh, this battle requires a little bit of explanation. This is against my uh, good real life friend uh, Draco Falcone, and he's actually a major player in uh, helping me get to a point that I can do Wi Fi battles again. He uh, was able to donate quite a few Pokemon to my cause, and this is actually my first Wi Fi battle back um, chronologically. And a uh, funny story about that, uh, I didn't actually know that I needed to go to like the battle resort to get the VS recorder, so I didn't have it. Thankfully, he saved it, and uh, Gen 6 allows you to send battle videos via the internet, uh, so I was able to receive it from him, and uh, I will post it here. Uh, just keep in mind, though, that I am on the other side of this battle, being that this is his battle video. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start the video now that I've explained that. And uh, here we go. Yeah, once again, I am on the other side. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be seeing things from his perspective. Although in Gen 6, uh, especially on these uh, playback videos, you know, it's a little bit better for that sort of thing. Anyway, so I start with a Dragon Dance, and uh, yeah, seems like it's a pretty good play against a uh, set-up Pokemon like Skarmory. Uh, he's just going to go ahead and Stealth Rock which uh, is a not a bad move, and I know he's going to have the Whirlwind. In fact, I probably should have just uh, went for the Fire Punch right off the bat instead of Dragon Punch, uh, Dragon Dancing. But, uh, you know, I guess that's a little bit of rust on my end. If I would have uh, went for two Fire Punches, I probably would have been able to kill him before that Whirlwind. Um, so, yeah, that kind of sucks. I did get him to 1 HP, though. And, uh, yeah, I end up getting uh, uh, Whirlwinded in a Rotom, which is not really a bad thing. I just go for a Volt Switch just in case he decides to switch. Um, he does not, so I get to kill the Skarmory, and, uh, yeah, kind of good for me, but, uh, obviously the Skarmory already did what it was intending to do, and that's, uh, setting up the Stealth Rocks. Anyway, I go into Scissor, because I figure I have to show my Pokémon first, and I can only just U-turn, uh, because this is a Choice Band Scissor, depending on what he goes into. He ends up going out into his Kingdra, which apparently is a, uh, Dragon Days Kingdra, um, which I was, uh, kind of trying to figure out the moveset prior to this, and, uh, yeah, obviously this is a Dragon Dance Kingdra. I just go for the U-turn, does a ton of damage thanks to the Choice Band, and I go out in my own Rotom, um, well, my Rotom again, and because this is Scarf Rotom, I should be able to outspeed him still, and I just go for the Thunderbolt to wipe him out, so, yeah, uh, quick two KOs for me, so that is looking up, but uh, he's going to go into Ferrothorn, realizing that I'm Scarfed, a pretty good play there, and I have to switch, so I decide to go out into Charizard, and, um, yeah, I really should be leading with this Charizard if I intend to use it, this is my uh, Mega Charizard, and obviously it's going to take a ton of damage trying to switch in without Mega Evolving uh, when their Stealth Rocks up, and to make matters worse, he even goes for the Stealth Rocks, or sorry, the uh, Leech Seeds, so I'm going to have to Mega Evolve, because I'm not going to be able to switch back in until I Mega Evolve, um, once I Mega Evolve, I should be able to switch back in once, uh, just because I go from a Fire Flying type to a Fire Dragon type, which is only uh, X2 weak to Stealth Rocks, anyway, I go for the Fire Punch, uh, because I know I'm going to have to switch out this turn, and unfortunately he does go out into his own Rotom, which resists it, I probably could have went Dragon Claw, but oh well, Either way, I decided to switch out now, obviously, because I can't afford to stay in, and I have just enough HP to get another switch in later. So, uh, yeah, I go into Ferrothorn, as he just goes for the Volt Switch, pretty safe play on his part. Uh, his Rotom also Scarfed, in fact, I believe it's actually the same exact set, um, because I think he just uh, duplicated his Pokémon that he gave to me. So anyway, he goes out into Gallade, and uh, this is his uh, Mega Pokémon on this team, and uh, I'm just going to hope that he overpredicts here, and... Um, not kill me as I try to get up my own Stealth Rocks because obviously he has a huge advantage here right now with uh, his him having Stealth Rocks and not me. He does go for the Swords Dance, uh, so he did overbridge a little instead of just finishing off my Ferrothorn, um, which he definitely could have. But unfortunately, I still have this problem with this Gallade, who has a uh, Swords Dance up and obviously at his Mega Form is super strong. He ends up overbridging again, which I was hoping for, and uh, just goes for the knockoff which uh, he's going to hurt himself there probably more than, uh, yeah, than me because of, well, obviously he hurts me more, but um, that's kind of what I wanted to do because now he has to take two hits from my uh, rough my rough uh, edges or whatever it's called, the ability that Ferrothorn has. And I do get a Leech Sheet up on him as well, though that's not really relevant because he's uh could possibly sweep. So, uh, yeah, I end up doing some decent damage, and now I have to go out into a Pokemon that can uh, hopefully scare him off. And I go into Scizor here because I do have the Choice Band uh, Bullet Punch, and he does have minus one defense thanks to using Close Combat. So he is going to have to switch. He ends up going into Rotom as I go for the Bullet Punch. It ends up doing, a, you know, obviously not a whole lot since the resistance, but uh, yeah, it's an okay amount. 
I actually stay in here instead of switching because I wanted to see what he would uh, do. Um, probably a little bit of risk on my part. He ends up going for Hidden Power, but uh, I guess it's not Hidden Power Fire. Um, he either thought it was or was predicting maybe Dragonite if it's Hidden Power Ice. Either way, my Scissor resists it. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to stay in because I feel comfortable doing more damage with Bullet Punch than he is with Hidden Power. Anyway, he's going to go into Ferrothor now, which does resist it, and he gets the Iron Barbs off on my Scizor. So I'm going to take some damage there, and I'm going to have to switch out, obviously, because I am uh, locked into Bullet Punch. So here I go out into my Dragonite again, and he is going to go for the Leech Seed, which uh, obviously is not good for Dragonite. I can't really do much with the Leech Seed of Dragonite. Um... This is a uh, sword, or sorry, a uh, dragon dance sweeper dragonite, and uh, being leech is just fun for no one. Although I do have a fire punch on here, which I believe I already used once. Yes, I used it against Garmori, so he knows I have fire punch. Obviously, he's going to switch out, so I'm going to switch out as well, hoping that he switches out into something other than Rotom, um, because I'm going to try to get my Charizard back in here. Uh, and unfortunately for me, he does end up switching into Rotom, which is probably the better play, or uh, the best play he could have made. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to outspeed a Choice Scarf Rotom, and uh, I can't really switch out Charizard again, so I'm just going to let it die and uh, see what he locks himself into. He ends up locking himself into a Thunderbolt, and I'm going into Miss Magius figuring, you know what, I think I can take a Thunderbolt here. Um, I do make a big misplay. I try to go for the substitute. He ends up critting me, and I think that if he didn't crit, I would have been able to get off the sub and kill him next turn. I should have just finished him off, which would have been the safer play, but I was getting... I got a little greedy there, guys, and uh, being my first game back, I, I guess I am a little bit rusty as well. Um, but that crit really hurt, and I feel like I should have just finished it off, because now this thing is a huge problem. I can't really outspeed uh, Choice Scarf Rotom, and um, obviously our Rotoms are speed-tied, because it's basically the same thing. So I didn't want to risk that. I'm hoping Scissor can actually kill with a Bullet Punch. And he survives 3 HP. So there goes two of my Pokemon, and things are just falling apart here uh, right now. Thanks to Miss Magius dying to this Rotom. Um, whether you want to thank the hacks or my own misplay, I should have just finished... Just I should have just taken the kill with Miss Magius, but I didn't. Anyway, I am... Yeah, now I'm rambling. I do end up winning the speed tie with my Rotom, so at least there's that. Although, uh, yeah, I just end up going into Dragonite. He does have this Nido King, which is, I believe, a sheer force variety. And uh, he does outspeed me due to my Dragonite being bulky and not, you know, full speed. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that Dragonite is going to die. I think I actually would have outsped anyway. Nah, I'm not sure about that. Either way, mine's not max speed, so he doesn't have to worry about that. And he just kills me, and um, now I go into Rotom, and he still has Ferrothorn. So no matter what I lock myself into, there's not a whole lot I can do. Um, he's, gonna go into, he's just going to go into Ferrothorn as I lock myself into Hydro Pump. Obviously, it's not going to do a whole lot. Even if I lock myself into Thunderbolt or Hidden Power, I guess, Ice, um, it wouldn't have made a huge difference. I don't think it would have swept. Um, and that kind of sucks. I look back at this battle and say, oh, man. If only, I, if only I just finished off that road and with, with uh, Miss Magius, I might have had a chance here. Or if only, you know, that crit didn't happen, because I'm pretty sure I would have had enough HP to actually survive. Although, Miss Magius would have been a low HP at that point, but still I would have had it. And Scizor still. Oh well, what can you do? You can't, you know, hacks is part of the game. It happens. And uh, yeah, it was still a fun battle, Draco Falcone. Uh, one of the uh, many we had on YouTube. So uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, definitely... Fun first battle back, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed as well. Anyway, today's question of the day, going back to this question, which I believe is almost the question every time I have battled Draco. His favorite Pokemon type is Dragon. What is your favorite Dragon type? And um, I'm going to have to continue use to say my favorite Dragon type is Dragonite, the classic Dragon. Roar. All right, leave a comment about that, and see you guys again next time. Later.